What is up guys, Pocket Crafts here, and it has been a long time coming, but Flamingo Craft is finally back. Hope you guys are super excited for this episode, because I am too. So, now that I'm finally back, I decided I should probably get started on a project that I promised I would do for you guys a long time ago. So, as you can see, I've gathered a whole bunch of materials, and so... Um, we are going to start building the snowman finally. I have made my little outline here of what it's going to look like. I'm thinking of doing 21 by 21 for the bottom, 14 by 14 for the middle, and then 7 by 7 for the head. I think that should hopefully look like a snowman. I mean, we're going to find out in just a second, though. And as you see, we've got a little friend here that's joined us. I wish you could do more with polar bears. It's not much. If anyone knows anything fun you can do with a polar bear, comment down below, please. But I'm going to get started building this. And I'll probably just give you guys quick updates. And I will see you guys in just a second then. Hopefully done with the first half. Okay, so that took a whole lot longer than expected. But I have the beginnings of the first part done. Um, I didn't do much in the interior. I thought I was, I was trying to think of a fun kind of doorway because I didn't want to ruin the feel of the snowman. I wanted it to still look like a snowman and not have like a door in the middle. So I decided to use a little water stream under there to get the inside. And then all I did for lighting was use sea lanterns and I had to use packed ice so that it wouldn't melt. Um, so I'm pretty happy with it so far. Obviously, once it's finished, I'll have to do more interior design. But then you come up to here, and this is the second level, which I'm going to have to finish right about now. So I'm going to get set on doing that, and I'll probably do some of the interior today, but definitely not all of it. So I would appreciate it if you guys would comment down below any ideas you have for interior design for this that I could use. Um, that would be much appreciated. So I'm going to get to work outside, and I'm going to start building the second level. Also, I'm not sure if I should do arms or not. Um, that's another thing I want you guys to comment down below if you feel like arms is a good idea or not a good idea. I'm not really sure yet, but I'm starting to like the way it looks, even if it has been a bit of a pain to build. So I'm gonna get into building the second part and I'll see you guys when that is done. So as you can see, I've now completed the second section and I think it looks pretty nice. I had to flatten out the um, little dots of black wool or whatever they're supposed to be. Probably coal, coal is what's supposed to look like, but I used wool. Uh, as an added bonus, it's actually snowing, which is pretty fun. I think it's really interesting. Looks like you could see where the chunk ends because it's snowing in a straight wall down. And on the opposite side, it's raining, which is weird. But I think it's fun to look at. Um... There were, couple, there were three polar bears just a second ago, but they just disappeared. I don't know what happened. Mm. They're multiplying, but now they're gone. I'm not sure how I feel about this little door here. I'll probably have to change it. A couple zombies have got it that way. Um, I've designed the second level pretty similarly to the first level. However, I had this little like archway here. I thought it was just a good example. However, I added this little archway here, and I thought it was a pretty good example of how just a small architectural type thing can make a build look a whole lot different. Now, obviously, this doesn't do much to the whole build as a general, but as you're walking through, it makes it seem a lot more modern with the house type. As you can see, I've done the same flooring pattern with lights in here, but I've also made sure that there was a nice little walkway around that I could go and I could see far away. And it's also a great elytra launching pad which i just realized i wasn't wearing so i could hop off of here to go flying so that seems perk we're doing oh there's a stray um that's not good i'm going to i should put my armor back on and deal with that i've never actually fought a stray before believe it or not and it is really frustrating that you have to turn slow Oh, and I have a bow on me, too. I don't know why I didn't just grab that, but they look pretty weird. Is there another one? Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm going to grab my bow. Um, I wonder if flame arrows will do more to them or not. 
I think that was just because I have power five. Oh, no. I hope I don't burn down my snowman. I don't think I will. Okay. Um, well, I got a bunch of arrows of slowness from that, which is very fun. Uh, unfortunately, not many of the other Flamingo Craft players play anymore, so I don't think I'll be able to use them against them. But that's okay. I can still use them against other mobs. So, I'm going to go finish up the top layer, and then we'll talk about some other things after that. But I think this is going pretty, pretty well. So I will see you guys in just a second. Also, I don't know why I just said pretty, pretty, instead of just pretty well. That was a weird little talking mistake, but that's okay. I'll see you guys in just one second. Alrighty. So I finished the face, although I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it. I think I'm probably going to have to make it bigger so you can actually see it. Because I didn't anticipate for the angle of the ground. However, when you fly up towards it, it looks better. Not great, but better. I'm definitely going to have to do some tweaking. But I'll show you guys that after we look around inside. There's a couple things I want to talk to you guys about. And then I'll show you um, what it looks like when you fly out from the outside. I'm also really liking the look of the sea lanterns with the snow. I think it looks really nice. Now, at first I was worried they might melt it, but I've discovered that that doesn't happen, which is good. So I realized I had to light out outside here because last night um, there were mobs literally everywhere and I was had some trouble, but I was able to block in two zombie villagers that I decided to lock in because although I do have plenty of villagers, mostly because I have my villager breeder right there, um, these two have the little ice outfit which I don't have any villagers that look like that. So I want to have at least the two of them just because I think that'd be cool. I could breed some uh, just over here and it would look like that, but I think it's more fun to have them naturally. So I'm going to keep those two there and I'll cure them at some point, but I named them so I could keep them so they wouldn't despawn and then I put the roof over their head. So as you can see, these two floors are the same. I'll have to decorate them, bring them into rooms and things like that. But as we come up to the next level... So this part I wasn't super happy about. I had to put ice on the bottom because I wanted pumpkins here. But the issue was uh, if I put a pumpkin on top, I actually used jack lanterns for light on this side. I said, oh, bunny spawn up here. The red eyes made it look really creepy, but that's kind of really cool. I like that. Sorry, got distracted. Um, if I put the pumpkin or the jack lantern directly on the snow, it would turn into a, um, one of, a snow golem which would cause a lot of problems, obviously, because it would have no floor. So I had to put the ice here first. And I just realized I forgot to put a roof on, but I guess that's okay, so I might edit it. So I'm going to have to add a roof and do a bunch of interior design, but I think this is going to be it for building it today. I'm going to do some other things as well, though. And, ooh, the sun's about to go down, so I'm going to fly around and show you what it looks like from higher up just so we can finish that up. So we'll go up. And so as you can see... Oh, wrong way. Okay. I am not the most skilled elytra flyer. But, from far away, it looks like that. Which, I think looks really nice. I like the way it looks like that. But, I don't like the way it looks from the ground. So, I'm definitely going to have to do some tinkering, figure out what I want to do. But, for now, that's pretty cool. And, I think I'm going to add um, some, like, snow golem sentries somehow. I'm going to figure out a way. This guy was just to help me see how to build. But I want to have them, like, I think it'd be cool to have them, like, right here as, like, sentries or something. Almost as if it was a castle or something. I don't know. I'll figure something out with that. But I guess I should go to bed first. I There's a couple other things I want to talk to you guys about really quickly. As I go to bed. Um, it's good to be back, though. I, I've missed this. Oh, actually, I should have gone back up there so I could fly off, but that's okay. Um, on Pocket Edition, it is a lot harder. You can't really start your Elytra from the ground. It just doesn't really work. It's pretty much impossible just because you don't have buttons to press. It's all just tapping, and so it can be really difficult, but that's okay. So over the next couple episodes, one of the main things I really want to do, I felt I feel like I've been lacking the building aspect. 
So I've built a lot of these farms, which are really functional and provide me with the things I need. But if you look at it, it really doesn't look super pretty or organized or great at all. It's a mess of blocks. There's no paths in between. It just, it looks bad. And so in the next couple episodes, I think the main thing I want to focus on is just trying to make things look prettier, which I think is going to be a little bit difficult of a goal, but it's something I hope I can achieve. And I think it's going to be really good for me because I've always been kind of just um, make things happen, but never make things look good. And so I think that's going to be my goal from now. Also, I just looked over and my snowman looks absolutely amazing from here. I love his little sideways smile. And here it looks at the perfect level. So now actually thinking about it, I don't think I want to change it at all because I really, really like the way it looks as I'm coming from my old base or for some of my farms around and just looking at that guy, I think he looks awesome in the distance. So I think that's actually kind of my first part of this whole new project was building him, having something that's actual built and kind of looks good. He's not the prettiest creation, but I like the way he looks in the landscape and the atmosphere. And so I'm happy with it. Let me know down in the comments if you guys think he looks fun or not, but I'd like to create a little bit Part of me wants like a regal village type thing from like middle ages village type. But then part of me wants some silly things. Maybe I can intermix them together. I'd like to have a castle at some point and to take the villagers out of their trading little blocks and make it into like a village. I think that's going to be one of my projects to make this area look nicer. But I hope you guys like that. And I'm a little bit pressed for time. It took a lot longer to do the snowman that I'd anticipated and I promised you guys that this video would be out by Wednesday. So I think I'm probably gonna end it off there so I can get to work off camera on a lot of the things that I'm need, gonna need to do to make this area look prettier. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. If you guys enjoyed this video with Flamingo Craft finally coming back, please throw down a like and I will see you guys all next time. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are the best audience. I love you guys. Mm. And bye.